to begin with the deadly and mysterious explosion that shattered a quiet Indianapolis neighborhood. This is all that is left after the blast just annihilated five homes, leaving dozens of others beyond repair. ABC's John Schriffen is there right now with the latest on the investigation. Good morning to you, John. Josh, good morning. There is a large police presence as investigators try to figure out just how this happened. Right now, nothing has been ruled out, but investigators are puzzled because so far there has been no sign of a gas leak in the neighborhood. This video shows the massive inferno sparked by the explosion that rocked this Indianapolis neighborhood late Saturday, reportedly killing husband and wife Dion and Jennifer Longworth and leaving at least seven others injured. Garage doors blown in, windows blown in, house completely leveled, nothing left. This morning, investigators are frantically trying to figure out what touched off the blast, which could be heard for miles. We can't speculate on what the cause of the incident was, whether it was natural gas or whether it was some other source. Witnesses say it happened around 11 p.m. More than 100 firefighters responded to the scene as nearly 200 residents quickly ran into nearby streets. It's, it splintered my door. It looks like a war zone. Ceiling falling in, garage door falling down, and just glass everywhere. Officials say as many as 80 homes have been affected, estimating the damage at $3.6 million. Just Drew Smith from ABC affiliate WRTV saw the damage firsthand. You can see that there are bulldozers out here. People are working, trying to get everything cleaned up. What used to be five homes are nothing more than rubble. And you can see the cleanup here is going to take quite some time. And police have still not identified the victims, but this morning the Indianapolis Star is reporting that the Greenwood schools will open on a two-hour delay so that staff can figure out a way to tell the students that one of their teachers has died. Josh? John Treffin in Indianapolis, thank you for that.